Hi, I'm Brendan Greeley for Good in Chicago, and I'm going to talk about Open Books Pilsen. And I'm Rashonda Baldwin here in Pilsen at Glorious Tacos, and today I will be talking about murals down 16th Street. Oh, hey, it's Good in Chicago. Sorry, I was studying the menu here at Glorious Tacos on 18th Street and Wood in Pilsen. Roshana Baldwin, Brendan Greeley, Roshana, you were just in Cuba. You brought us some, you brought me some Cuban rum. I did, absolutely. Is this just for me? Uh, it's for me, it's my sleeping okay. aid. Um, thank you <laughs> for right. that lovely introduction. It was sure. very warm. Uh -huh. Hopefully that 100% um, alcohol warms us up and I'm excited to be here in Pilsen at Glorious oh, Taco. Shout fantastic. out to uh, our buddy Henry for recommending this place. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And uh, so, good in Chicago. We want to feature the positive aspects of all 77 wonderful neighborhoods of Chicago. And you've got a good Chicago in to highlight today, don't you? I do, as I pour my... Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll make you my drink. Rum, as you make my drink and you pour mm -hmm. my rum, I want to take off the edge. So, yes, I want to highlight um, this group, Chicagoan. He is Ice. from my university, DePaul University. Uh, Dr. Xavier, he is doing good things for the criminal justice uh, department, uh, if you will. He was in and out of jail, and he spent time in and out of jail because he was trying to get his life together. So he had so many issues going on that this young man decided to go back, get his degree um, at DePaul University, and then return back to the uh, jail cells to teach uh, the individuals inside the jail cells of what to do and what not to do and what is it like on the outside. So I want to say shout out to this young man doing good things in Chicago. He went back again and got his PhD in criminology. His name is uh, Dr. Xavier. So and he goes to my alma mater, DePaul University. I'm sorry, he teaches at my alma mater, DePaul University. Go Blue Demons. Blue Demons, absolutely. So that's my good Chicago one. Very cool. Hey, <laughs> and he must be very well read, I'm guessing, being absolutely. a professor. Absolutely. You know, I like to read it book or two a year myself. Do you? Yeah, and uh, there's something pretty cool about Pilsen. It's a bookstore called Open Books Pilsen, non-profit non bookstore. Um, it's on 19th Street. They sell books for as little as a dollar. And I want to show you, you know, they've got a whole warehouse full of books, and I just want to show you some of my favorite books. I didn't, I didn't get these at Open Books, but I'm, I'm sure they got them. Some great Chicago books, like the Hecklers, Cubs, Cubs fans guide to happiness. You got the the Doug Buffon story as told to the late great Chet Kopic. You got Jeremy Roenick, shoot first, pass later. How, how cool is that? <laughs> how cool is that, Jr. Nice titling. Um, and then if you're not into sports, you've got Raising Kanye by Donda West. It's a must read. May she rest in peace. Shout yeah. out to yeah. uh, Kanye West. Absolutely. And then this, Studs Terkel, Hard Times. This is an oral history of the Great Depression. He talked to Chicagoans that lived through the Great Depression. It's uh, well, that one. If you can find this one, I bet you that they got that at Open Books Pilsen. One day I do hope to get a Studs Terkel Award because they honor so many amazing people. One day I hope to get one of those awards for my great journalism skills, as you see here, as we just displayed. I have well, never known you to I think you're more ever... likely than me. <laughs> <laughs> I have never known you to go to a bookstore. I didn't even know you read, so shout out to you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It feels good. You know, I, I didn't even read. think you knew how to uh, use a library, but you always seem to impress me. Thank what you, else is you. going on in Pilsen? They have such beautiful murals. Um, I uh, frequent uh -huh. Pilsen quite often. So this mural exists on 16th and Halsted. So they do wow, what's called the Mural Project from 16th and Halsted all the way to 16th and Western. Over 50 murals. And this was one of the ones that stood out to me. I love the blues. I love the colors. I love seeing um, the culture, the heritage. I hope to see this throughout the city of Chicago. But driving down 16th Street in Pilsen, you can see beautiful murals, over 50 murals. Um, pretty much adorning the streets and the walls and beautiful buildings of Pilsen. Do you think I could be a model for a mural someday? Uh, probably. You paint not. me like you paint your fresh girls? <laughs> probably not. Okay. You could only try so much. <laughs> well, do what I can, right? How was your Memorial Day? This oh. drink was strong as hell, by yeah, the I way. I put an extra little, a little, 
booster of rum in there. That's some good stuff. 100% uh, rum, you all. So, yes, that's what's going on. How was Cuba? Good. Cuba was amazing. I had my little hat here. I love Cuba so much. That's why I had to bring, um, you know, the 100% um, you know, rum and to take off the edge and deal with your craziness. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, you ready to eat? I'm Some... always ready to eat, yeah. and I know you are. Oh, you bet I am. I heard Gloria has the best tacos um, across the city of Chicago. Yeah, yeah, this is a must-hit spot. We're it is a the... must-hit spot, and it's a family-owned restaurant. Yeah, I'm so it? happy. They've been over here in the Pills for over 30 years. Super impressive throughout all this craziness in America and Chicago. Mm -hmm. I love to see uh, family-owned establishments, um, a place for us to definitely hang out and talk to, so yes. Yeah, and uh, I think, I'm, I'm guessing you get the veggie tacos. I did get the veggie tacos, absolutely, because I'm a mm -hmm. vegetarian. What did you get? I got the beef burrito. Uh, of course you did. I hope they're as tasty it's as they look on the menu. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack this burrito <laughs> when it comes out. I can't are wait you? To, are I you? I can't wait to get it. I can't oh. wait either. I think I got a toast look, here, come, here comes oh Gloria God. now. Gloria from Gloria's Hi, Taco. Hi, Gloria. <laughs> bringing us out our food personally. I feel yes. I feel special. I feel Thank honored you. too. Thank you it's so much for having us. For you. Thank <laughs> you. Is that my beef burrito? Yes, it that's is. A, that's a big one. That should fill me up, I think. Yeah, you <laughs> have enough you? for your dinner. <laughs> yeah, ah. absolutely, absolutely. Why do you love cooking so much? Well, Mexican food. Uh, we are here for more than 30 years mm -hmm. as a family. Business. It's a tradition. It's family yes. business. What's the secret to what's the secret to a good well, time? Well, pension for cooking and for everything. I have no patience when I cook. Oh. I rush. <laughs> you seem to take much pleasure in cooking and I have no mm. time. Yes. Thank you. Well, I'll try and I do it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> I hope you like my food and it's oh. a pleasure to have it here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Gloria yes, from Gloria's Tacos. Yes, Our namesake oh, yeah. here, the honor. Okay. She's beautiful. Thank you. All right. Welcome. <laughs> mm. It's an amazing burrito, Gloria. Okay. Mm. I love it. Huh. I love it. It's so good. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is good in Chicago. Roshana Baldwin, Brendan Greeley. <laughs> Roshana Baldwin, Brendan Greeley. <laughs> Glorious tacos. Thank you so much. Right here. Five from Filson. Sixteenth in Wood. Mm. Sorry, eighteenth in Wood. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, good. That could be a good oh, hangover yeah. food. Mm -hmm. Like you can save that in case you get hungover and eat it again. That's a fantastic burrito. Is it that? Yummy. Mm. Mm. I have no Thing is looking good. You like it? You think you can make it at home? Oh yeah. Not this sure. no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Nothing this good ever. Mm -mm. This has been a presentation of Old Pie Productions. Tony, can you shut up? There's 2,000 bars in this city, maybe 4,000. Yeah, and all of them, I lost count, all of them seem to exist not, on your side of the neighborhood, on your side of town. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Great economic development I'm, I'm happening over there. I'm trying to hit there. them all. I'm trying to hit them all. It's part of my life mission. <laughs> I'm still a ways away. I mean, well, I didn't hit up no. any liquor stores on my side of town, but you know. <laughs>